All right, all right. So you saw the thumbnail, you clicked on it. Obviously, I'm assuming you got a Honda. I have a Honda. You probably want to know how to tune it. Well, I do too. We got the Honda Flash Pro. Do I know what I'm doing? <laughs> Not really, but that's what the beauty of uh, YouTube is. Let's get right into it. Let's go, let's go find out together. Yeah, hopefully I know what I'm doing. Let's go. All right guys, so first thing first, obviously you need your ECU jailbroken. That's been done. And then you got to order your Flash Pro. The one that I got is the Flash Pro Mini. Uh, serial number is over here. It's for the Americas because we live in Canada and United States. Minimum requirements is a Windows laptop. I didn't get Windows 10, so nothing fancy. And what's included in the box, first time opening it myself. You got your little Honda stickers, and then your cables, USB-C and USB-A. Okay, and of course, your Flash Pro Mini. You're just gonna take this, plug this in. It's on the driver side. There you go. So with the new Mini, apparently you can just stay in there permanently, so we don't have to uh, worry about wires and all that stuff. USB-C, plug it into here. And you take the other end, and then you plug it into your computer. So first off, you have to download the Honda uh, Flash Pro Manager. You just go right to the Honda uh, website, and you can just download it. Flash Pro firmware will be upgraded. Please un unplug. Okay, we gotta unplug it. Click OK. Okay, let's just let's just try to plug this in. Flash Pro, you in? New calibration. We're gonna go down to FL5, United States. This is all your options that you can pick with downpipes, and I don't have anything right now, so we're just gonna go to. We have 93 octane up here. I don't have intercooler anything yet. No flex fuel. These are all the options that you got. So we're gonna go with the most basic right now because I'm basic, I'm pretty much stock. No intake, no downpipes, no intercooler. So, but we're gonna go 93 octane because I can get 93 or up to 94 in Canada. Let me click that and click okay. All right, so a lot of this stuff is uh, pretty self-explanatory. So none of this really applies to me right now because everything is stock. Pretty much I would just let Adam at uh, my tuner would uh, Play around with all this stuff that he knows better i don't know any of this stuff you guys so again this is self-explanatory this is where it gets fun here so the integra type s pops and bangs uh you if you want it similar to the type s which is very mild and then longer which is stage one and you got stage two please be responsible i guess for uh shits and giggles maybe we'll do this one right now and we'll go for a test drive after so let's Click on this, because we're not responsible. Uh, rev hang, disable. We're gonna disable that. Disable rev hang. Allows throttle place to close more rapidly after, when shifting. Okay, we'll, we'll leave that one there. Race, race, I don't even know what that is. So the stock limit for RPM is 7,000. And we can go all the way up to 85. Not bad, but. We're stock, so we'll just leave it there. Rolling anti-leg, never tried it. Cruise control cancel button activates launch and rolling anti-leg. Not recommended for engines with stock internals. Well, we're stock internals, so. Okay, anyways, we're not gonna do that. Full throttle shift. Full throttle shift. Part throttle, including part throttle. Mm, what's the difference? Let's click on this. Uh, shifting without lifting your foot, okay. Apparently, engine cut for full throttle. What's the difference? I don't know. What's the difference, you guys? Partial throttle, part throttle, or well, I don't know. What's the difference? Yeah, I'll just click this, you guys. Okay, traction control, aggressive launch. Aggressive launch will allow wheel spin for hard launch to keep the engine from bogging. And what's the other one? Uh, traction control, launching with no wheel spin will bog down. Okay, maybe not. Wheel spin. We want a little bit of a wheel spin, hey? What is this? Warning will increase boost. Hopefully you guys can see all this, eh? 
Right. I hope so, I hope so. Uh, warning, will increase boost, disable the... Okay, I guess it's already clicked on, so I don't know what that is. Turbo, increase torque limit to only use if you use reach. Oh, we'll try that too. Valet mode. I wonder if that works. Uh, so basically, do you click on it now and then upload it? Flash it in? If that's the case. It's kind of annoying because you'd have to flash it every time before you give it to them. What if you don't carry your uh, laptop with you? Okay, so I think I'm happy with what I picked so far. So we're going to go to export. Oh, OK. OK, well, where did that go? Ah, what the hell? OK, let's try again. Don't click OK, guys. OK, I'm back. So we did the exact same thing again. So we're back to export or click OK. Last time I clicked OK. So let's click export this time. Don't know any of this stuff. So we're just going to leave it as is. This is probably going to your tuner. Export, okay, it's not export. I don't know what I'm doing, guys. Ah, you know what? Turn the car on. Ah, how dumb. Turn the car on to accessory mode. Turn off all your AC and everything. Okay, oh my God. Man, I forgot you guys. Okay, let's just try click all off this again. So I'm gonna click as uh, upload. And he's going to ask me all these questions. I'm going to click yes. So pretty much we're going to lock it. We're going to not register, so we're going to register. So we're going to go to the Flash Pro. Uh, click registered owner. You're going to update and register. You're going to punch in all your information here. Information is entered. You're going to click register. And it says successfully register. So you go back to upload. And now it says, do you want to lock it because it's registered? All right, guys, so you're going to go ahead and, and read the disclaimer and then go ahead and check it off and click OK. And then it's going to lock it, the ECU to the Flash Pro. And then we're uh, good to go. So we're going to click off OK. And there we go. We should be all good to go now. See, everything's all checked off. We're going to go upload. And there we go. So it's on the uh, auxiliary, as you can see, right there. Make sure the battery is full and let it do its uh, job here. So it's, it's obviously it's beeping and making all the noises while it's uh, flashing in. So it was all new to me. I Googled it online. There wasn't a whole lot of things. So hopefully this kind of like shows you because I was just I was just digging my way through too, so it didn't really, there's a lot of videos online about like uh, after you install it, but it doesn't really show you step by step. So hopefully it helps you guys because I just figured it out myself. So let's get it all done and then let's go for a test drive. All right, guys. So it's pretty close to being finished. So, okay, please uh, switch off the ignition. We're going to switch it off. And uh, I think that's it. It's done, it's flashed in. I think we can shut off everything now. Okay, third gear pull. Ooh, that's nice. Very nice. I like it, I love it. Noticeable difference, you guys. Love it, love it, love it. Can't wait for it to get properly tuned. Throttle response, fantastic. Woo! Okay, so some of you guys are asking me, ever since I installed the uh, lower motor mount, if there's any improvement in wheel hop, because apparently a lot of people are saying that's what it's supposed to help. Why not, let's, let's try it out right now. On top of that, let's see if this uh, new traction control uh, works any better. First time launching the car, so let's give it a shot, you guys. Just, just a little bit, it's like a chirp of a, a wheel spin. But yeah, it, it goes, but no uh, no wheel hop. Uh, doesn't look like there is any at all. It, it, it gripped pretty good, pretty good. Pretty good, you guys. 
amazing. All right, guys, so super happy with the new tune. Well, not new tune, but off the shelf tune from a Honda Atta is pretty impressive. Makes the car feel like just a whole different vehicle. Can't wait to put a, an actual proper tune or put it on the dyno and get it tuned properly. What I'm seeing so far, some, some of you guys are getting between 350 to 360, 380 on the stock internals and everything. It's pretty impressive. So we're really looking forward to that. If uh, you guys found this vlog helpful in any way in installing your guys' Honda, Atta, hit that like button. And if you want to see more content, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss anything. And we'll see you guys in the next week's vlog. See ya. Don't